Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again with another episode of Career Mode, and this time it is the first of the new series. Now, of course, we've been waiting for this for quite a while, actually. I let the uh, the votes go on for quite a while. You'll be able to see on screen, and uh, probably by the title and the thumbnail, actually, if I've had one made up already. And so we are going to be playing as Borussia Dortmund. Now, uh, the, the voting was uh, pretty resounding, actually. Dortmund got 15 votes, Atletico Madrid 10, AC Milan 8, and uh, Valencia only the 3. So uh, it was kind of uh, an obvious choice for me to start the new one as Dortmund. So we are doing so. So on legendary, of course, six minute halves, uh, moderate. I think the uh, the board difficulty was you're just gonna be setting it up in the background with a name, etc. And uh, I am gonna have European competition in the first year, so we are gonna be, have to be using the uh, the squad as much as possible. Now we're coming into this one uh, with really not really much too much to do because uh, I want you guys to be heavily influenced in the players that come in and the players that go out. Obviously, uh, the first thing you do when you start up a new career mode is have a look at the squad, and I do so on screen in just a bit. And uh, uh, basically, Dortmund have an extremely strong first eleven, as we know. However, when it comes to uh, squad players and rotation players, they really don't have that much on offer. It is quite poor, actually. The um, you get a couple of players on the bench that aren't necessarily uh, strong enough to play in the first team, and then the rest are, are either kids or rated. Um, 70 or less which really just won't be good enough especially on legendary we're going to need uh, high quality players to be able to compete on all four fronts because uh, you'll see a little bit later on we do actually have the um, the emails from the from the club with their uh, expectations is what I'm looking for with their expectations for the season they actually want us same as the uh, the third season at Sunderland they want us to win the league they want us to win the domestic cup and they want us to win the Champions League so it's going to be an extremely tough first season but as you can see on screen here just uh, popping Gertz into the starting lineup, so we've got an extremely strong starting lineup as you you would expect. I think uh, I do want a left back. I do want to replace Schmelzer or find a uh, yeah. Basically, I want to replace Schmelzer. I'm not too keen on him. Um, centre back wise, I would extremely like or very much like an, a very very strong centre back. I'm not overly keen on Subotic to be completely honest. And uh, Felipe Santana, whilst good, is pretty obvious uh, you know it would be the obvious choice to have Hummels and Santana so to try and add a bit of uh, uniqueness to the series I'd like to replace uh, replace uh, Subotic he will be outgoing and I'd like to bring in uh, a player that is fresh and new to the Dortmund team etc so uh, that is kind of what we're going to be looking for from this first series is some suggestions from you guys as to who I can bring in at centre back who I can bring in at left back and who we can bring in on uh, a squad rotation front so uh, maybe players that are uh, good players and uh, good prospects but uh, not necessarily the finished article just yet, but are good enough to uh, to be able to do a job for us in the first team should we require them to do so. So I'm going to leave that down to you guys. I haven't as of yet recorded much more of this, which is uh, which is why this is a short video. Also, it is uh, this is going up Tuesday, so uh, it is my birthday today. Uh, I am 25 today, believe it or not. I am actually half the way to 50, so... Uh, Fuck my life, to be completely honest. But that is uh, this is the budget that we have on screen, as you can see, fourteen million pounds with a hundred thousand wage budget. Of course, I will be able to uh, to edit that just slightly up or down on either front, depending on uh, whether we need the money for transfers or to maybe bring in a loan signing, etc. And also with the players outgoing as well, that will be uh, we will have a little bit more to spend. So hopefully we can find some players in budget, etc. But that is going to wrap this one up for this first episode, guys. Like I say, I haven't recorded much more, or I haven't recorded any more of this because I want your guys' feedback. But do let me know, like I say, with potential transfers, etc. And uh, please do feel free to leave this uh, this video a like. Do show some huge support to this new series. It would be absolutely fantastic if you could do that. So I know that you guys are still going to be here watching the career mode. No, uh, you know, so I know that career mode is still going to be uh, successful on my channel. Obviously, on screen you will have had the end slate up for quite a while. The uh, the previous ep previous video or previous episode box will have the last episode from the uh, from the Sunderland career mode. I might actually m might make it not the last last one, but the uh, the Champions League final, which was recently uh, uploaded on there and then of course in the little window is a random video to uh, something else that was on my channel early on in the week so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time